You know, I am loving these songs from the I Still Believe soundtrack. These are awesome songs from like 10 or 11 years ago uh, from Jeremy Camp. And these songs were just like so, so like crucial and impactful in my walk with the Lord. And when I was going through just some really, really crazy, dark, not fun seasons of life. And I'm so glad to see that these songs are kind of like coming back with the with this with the movie and um yeah so i wanted to show you um how to play this song um it's four chords and it's um so it's uh, i think kj appa's version of my desire so um so he does it we're going to be doing it using these d shapes the recorded version on the on the cd and on the soundtrack is with is in the key of e so to do that we would just do capo on the second fret and then play these D shapes. But for the lesson, I'm just gonna take the capo off and play in these D shapes. So just remember, if you wanted to um, play along to to the uh, to the soundtrack and to the to the recorded song, just put that capo on the second fret and then use these same D shapes. And then also, I'll show you at the end, if you don't like these D shapes and you like the easy G shapes, which I'm totally down with, I'll show you how to play this song also just in the G shapes, so you can play around with the capo and all that good stuff. Um, so here we go. So it's four chords. We got uh, a G chord, and I'll put a link up top if you need help with a breakdown of some of the shapes I use um, for the key of D, I'll put that link up top. So we're going G, A, B minor, back to the A. Um, so you can do this song like like just plucking like that, like the first verse or so. You wanna be real. You wanna be emptied inside. Or, so basically what I'm doing is I, ha I have a video on like finger picking where I like my, pl where I place my fingers. Um, so I'm just keeping my pointer finger on the, the third string from the bottom, which is the, uh, the G string. And then I have my middle finger on the string below that. It'd be the second string um, from the bottom, the B string. And then I'm just plucking with my thumb the bass notes of each, string, of each chord. So G and the A, sus, and the B minor. So you can start with that, or if you wanted to do, I'll show you the the kind of the nice sounding way. It kind of sounds on the on the recorded video. So you're basically same position with those fingers. You're just instead of plucking both of them, you're just gonna pluck the the pointer finger and the mid and the thumb at the same time. So. So you're not using your middle finger at all. And I'm just keeping my ring and my pointer or pinky finger just kind of hanging out, locked into that that high E string to give myself a little bit of a foundation so I can, um, I'm not jumping off the, the strings when I'm picking different uh, chords and notes. So that pattern is just <clears throat> your uh, pointer and your thumb plucking the bass notes together. And then you're just going back and forth using your thumb on this uh, D string and the and the the G string where your where your um, pointer finger already is. So it sounds like this. So pretty easy. Hopefully you can just kind of like go along with that um, and just, uh, you know, just work on the, the plucking at the same time and then using your thumb. You're just playing on those two strings um, after you do the, the pluck. And if you want, you can just do down strums. And it sounds good too. So anyways, let's, let's show um, where you get into the chords and where the chords change and all that stuff. So, um, it's, uh, you wanna be real. So you hit the G on the real. You wanna be real. You, so the A sus right before you. So you wanna be real. 
you want to be empty inside so b minor is on the empty inside on the a sus you want to be someone laying down your pride you want to be someone someday lay it down then lay it all down before the king all right so we'll do that with just single down strums so you want to be real well maybe a little bit of rhythm there so you want to be real you want to be empty inside you want to be someone laying down your pride you want to be someone someday And that goes into the, the, I guess the second verse where it says, you want to be whole, have purpose inside, you want to have virtue. So you can start picking the rhythm up just maybe a little bit on that second part. And then the, the chorus is, uh, we add one chord in here, it's the D chord. This is my desire. So it goes from the D to the E. A sus to the B minor to the A so that'll be the first line so this is my desire to the A sus this is my B minor to the A sus so this is my desire my return second part of the chorus is this is my desire G to the A sus to be used by you and then that goes back into that G A sus B minor A A sus or A chord that that um, leads you into the to the verses so this is my desire This is my return To the G This is my desire To be used by you And the, I think the recorded version that there's no bridge on it just kind of like a little instrumental same chords as the verse doo, 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 doo. so you can ride that out until the end of the song however you want to end it um, but yeah I, I think that that picking pattern it's really nice it's really pretty hopefully you can you can pick that up if you have questions on it um, definitely just just uh, put a comment below so now showing you to the G chords for this song. So I'm going to start with just the chorus so I don't get my keys all confused here. Um, so it's G, D, E minor, D. It took me a minute to get there. Here we go. So on the desire, on the chorus, G. This is my desire to the D. This is my return. E minor, back to the D. And this is my desire. C to the D. To be used by you. That leads you into that chord progression for the verses. We 
which is just C, D, E minor, D. So just to get you started on that, um, on that first verse. You wanna be real. You wanna be emptied inside. You wanna be someone. Laying down your pride. You wanna be someone today. Lay it all down before the king. So those that's the chords for the, the verses, just using those easy G shapes. If you have questions on that, definitely just post a comment below. And um, I hope this helps you. It's an awesome song from like back in the mid, I don't know, mid to late 2006, 2007, 2008, something like that. So I'm glad they're coming back. And uh, these are great songs to worship to and to play to just on the acoustic. So I hope it helps. If you have questions, leave a comment for sure. And um, I will catch you next time.